boy, I'll tell you, so gather the kids, wake the grandma, because Annie Ellen's got a story for you today. <laughs> It's not a long story, it's a short story, but I'll tell you uh, the story. First, before I tell you the story, you need to know what FaceTime is. Do you know what FaceTime is? Yeah. yeah. Anybody know? For, for all the grandmas out there, it's, uh, <laughs> it's video chat. On your phone now, you can talk to people and look at them and you see each other while you talk. So that's FaceTime. Anyway, that's important for later. So here's the story. Last week I was driving to work and here in California, and I think it's a really good law, there's a hands-free law. You can't talk on the phone driving like that. You have to, you have to be hands-free, which I am. I won't even touch the steering wheel. <laughs> I let Jesus take it. <laughs> so, so, yes. so, so when I'm driving, I keep my phone somewhere close, uh, but safe. And, uh, but it doesn't fit in my console or my cup holder or anything, so I keep it between my legs when I'm driving. <laughs> Anybody keep their phone between their legs? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and when I'm, when, I'm, when I'm driving and a call is coming in, uh, the radio automatically switches off and the phone goes through the speaker of the radio. So I'm driving and the music went off, but I hadn't called anyone and no one had called me. And I looked down and... Uh, <laughs> Here's where the FaceTime comes in. I like... And I'm like, oh my God, who am I FaceTiming? And or crotch timing is what I was doing. My friend Jared, I said the name Jared, I was like, oh my God, and I hung it up and I didn't know how long it had been on there. because I. I was like trying to play back in my head how long it had been silent before I realized that it was just switching to another song. So I don't know how I did it. I mean, I've been working out with a trainer, but still. And <laughs> so, so I was FaceTiming Jared, but he was on crotch time with me. And, <laughs> and when something like that happens, you're just paranoid. So now constantly when I'm driving, I'm checking my crotch all the time. <laughs> So to everyone in my phone book, if you get a call from my crotch, 90% of the time it's an accident. But whenever I do the show, I always leave my phone backstage because I don't want to accidentally butt dial anybody while I'm dancing. 